What is going on, everybody? Sorry for the hiatus. We are off in Chicago for the NFL opener, and I will say that I am working as hard as I can to get the draft class done, to get the roster updated with the 53-man rosters. It's a lot more work than I think a lot of people may realize, so I am working as hard as I can. Time is a virtue these days, so I wanted to get this rebuild episode up. It might be a little bit shorter this week. We'll see. Because uh, I do want to get back and hopefully get that draft class up today, uh, among our other NFL stuff we're doing. But back to the Bills here. We are 6 3 and 1, coming off a tie against the Dolphins. And the team really is having a very impressive season. Now, we need to finish down the stretch to make the playoffs, and we are going to relay the news of real life. And as if it wasn't any harder, to beat the New England Patriots, who we have given multiple players superstar to, they have acquired Antonio Brown. And I'm going to have to go and fix that number to 84 real quick. But it's going to be even harder to beat these Patriots. So really trying to replicate the difficulties of beating that Patriots team, just as we saw them really dominate the Steelers in real life last night. So we got some upgrades here, and we have used uh, really most of our playage. We have a fourth quarter only appearance, and then just our play the moments against our divisional opponents. So it's, it's gonna be tough here. We're really gonna be leaning on the performance of our computer. A big upgrade there for, oh my God, Tremaine Edmonds, hashtag gains, am I right? All right, Teron Johnson, slot upgrade. But Josh Allen really proven a lot of people wrong this year. We got some receivers. Zay Jones proven some people wrong. This is a rookie tight end in Dawson Knox having a fantastic season on the defensive side of the ball. Ed Oliver has been that impact that we had hoped in terms of the pass rush. I believe he is our sack leader. Uh, we'll go take a look at the defensive stats here before we get out of here. We'll automate our long snapper upgrade here. But yeah, man, I mean, actually Jerry Hughes is our sack leader, but Ed Oliver, six sacks, not bad for about that midway point for a rookie. Uh, the picks, Trey Davis White, Tremaine Edmonds having a really good year, 84 tackles as well. So the defense has really picked it up after struggling early. So we got the four and six Broncos coming to town. We're going to go ahead and simulate this one. Like I said, we got our play the moments against our divisional opponents, and then one fourth quarter playage. Uh, and we're going to pick up another loss against the Broncos, 21-17. to So struggling on offense a little bit. Allen does come away with two interceptions. Singletary kind of carrying the, the workload there, but nothing too much to speak of. Foster comes out with a big game. Zay Jones, all right. Defensively, we get a sack from Ed Oliver. I'll take it, but uh, that's, not, that's not what we were hoping for. Still a bunch of upgrades to do, though. Devin Singletary continuing to get better here. Uh, I guess we'll go with the elusive. Uh, looks like a player likeness update there, or it's just a really high-quality face in the game, but it looks pretty good. Cody Ford, we're going to go agile. He's gotten a lot of upgrades this year with that star development. Our center, Bodine, we're going to go power for him. Good upgrade. That was weird. We did the power upgrade and got three kick accuracy, but that's pretty good. So we got to go to Dallas this week. We're 6-4-1. and one. This seems like as good of a time as ever to use that fourth quarter playage here. And then we have the last two games of the year against divisional opponents. And that's probably going to be enough for this entire episode. So we're going to hop in here. Out in Dallas. Down 3 nothing, 10 nothing. Come on, Bills. Turn it around. There we go. There we go. All right. Good first half. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're going to need we're gonna need quite the comeback here. It's not undoable. Hopefully they can. Oh, my God. This is not looking good. Down three scores. It's not insurmountable. Second and six. Going to hop in here. Boy, we got a lot of work ahead of us. Let's see if we can pull off a pretty epic upset here. All right, third down. All right, let's bring the heat. Get the tackle. Oh, gosh, Zeke. 
Vintage. Oh, man. They go with the run on third and long. Ugh, that's not going to help. Well, it's almost the point where we're just looking for garbage time stats, but we'll see what we can pull off. Not a good game for Josh Allen. 8 for 18. Yikes. Two picks. And Josh Allen just sails it. This is this is not what we were hoping for. We're in dangerous territory in terms of choking the season away here. We got fourth and one. Here comes the blitz. Beasley, come on. Against your former team, can't hang on. This is a slaughter. Good tackle, 39. We can't get anything done. This is just maybe not even worth playing. Be ready for the run this time, guys. Oh, <laughs> that was a bad throw. Oh, we simmed the field goal and they blocked it. All right. Oh, we had a lane. Isaiah McKenzie. Exhausted. Mm. Not Josh Allen's day. Ugh. Good run. He's got almost as many rushing yards as passing yards. I guess it wouldn't be the first time in his career. At least I don't think. Man, not even giving our guys a chance out here. Did hit the pylon though. Lockdown coverage. This Cowboys defense is pretty tough. Alright, good drive, good drive. Still down three scores, gonna take a miracle. We don't hold him to a field goal here. <clears throat> we are officially out of here. Technically, it's still a three-score game if we hold him to a field goal, but that play just about sealed it up. Good tackle, Phillips. Get him down. Some of you may be wondering why, why we're still playing this, but at least we can collect some garbage time stats for the Josh Allen MVP case. Wow. 
Wow, this was definitely not what we were hoping for here in Dallas. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, no. That was just... Ugh. We just threw up all over ourselves in that one. Let's get out of here. I am sorry for making you watch that. Let's just move on. That's one of those uh, just forget it ever happened kind of messages to the locker room after that one. Man, we have got to play better than that down the stretch here. As you would expect, not a whole lot to look at. The two picks for Josh Allen, not much going with the offense. Uh, Dawson Knox, the leading receiver, just garbage numbers on offense. Uh, no sacks. We did get a pick from Matt Milano. Really nothing to speak of. Definitely our worst game of the year right there. Let's just uh, forget it happened and move on. So we go from 6-1 and one to 6-5-1. and one. Not going well right now. We do have a 3-8-1 Baltimore Ravens team coming to town. Our quarterback gets an upgrade, so no better opportunity than right now to turn the season back around and finish strong. A really good upgrade there with the field general up, up, upgrade to Josh Allen. All right, here we go. Come on, Bills. Let's go. Pick it up. There we go. There we go. Offense plays much better this week, 35-21. to 21. Josh Allen, a great game. Lamar Jackson played well. Devin Singletary, a great week. Let's see the receivers. Cole Beasley kind of got it done. Everyone else was pretty quiet. Defensively, we get a sack and a half for Jerry Hughes. He's closing in on 10 sacks, no picks. A look at the standings there. We are about a, what is that, a half game? I think, yeah, that's... that's yeah, half game behind the Patriots, and we play them next week, but we have got to win this one. Four and nine Steelers. A bunch of upgrades this week. We are going to go with power moves. We're trying to keep Ed Oliver as balanced as we can. Big upgrade there. Nice, nice. Poyer. Doesn't really matter. We'll just go with the scheme fit. All right, come on, Bills. Stop, Bills. This is huge. Yeah, baby. Good job, defense. Way to go on the road. 30, uh, 24 to 17. Allen, good, clean game. We get two picks. Singletary. Dawson Knox, good game. Edmonds continues to rack up those tackle numbers. Hughes, Ed Oliver couple picks. Drew Davis White continues his fantastic season. And the Patriots are 8-6-1. and one. We are back in first place in our division and playing the Patriots for that top spot. A cluster of upgrades. These guys are getting a lot of gains here at the end of the year. We're going to go actually zone. I want to keep these guys balanced. Hope to get a little press zone coverage here for Trey White, who's having a fantastic season for us. Oh my god, let's go. Agility, press, zone. What a beast. Robert Foster with the deep threat upgrade. Zay Jones. Pretty uninspiring upgrade there. Eli Harold. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, here we go. Play the moments against the Super Patriots. They got all the superstar X factors to get this done. But can we really put ourselves in position here for first place in this division? One more game against the Jets after this. Let's go, Bills. <laughs> Josh Allen. See what you're made of. Easily the biggest game of his career here in Foxborough, nonetheless. So, skipping ahead. 
Red zone alert. Take advantage, get some points. Let's go. Good start. Blitz in opposite of the stretch. This has potential. Good run. Singletary closing in on a thousand yards, but pretty unlikely he's gonna reach it, but still a good rookie season. Splitting a lot of reps with Shady. Next year it'll probably be his backfield. Ugh. They really collapsed that thing quick. Actually, what we're gonna do, in case this is a blitz, we're gonna ID him. Keep Shady in the block and slide this thing to the left. Just got to take a shot. Go get it, baby. Oh, Zay. Good luck. Good throw by Allen, but we're going to walk away short. All right, Patriots driving. Defense needs to stop. Let's trust it. Oh, we break. Drive. Let's trust it. Good job, Bills. Red zone again. They get it in again. Let's go. This team can't be stopped again. Uh, third down in inches. Let's trust it. They get it in again. I can't believe this. Okay, Tom's rallying. We're not in the clear yet. Take advantage. Red zone. Let's do it. Second and one. And we could actually uh, almost take this to the fourth quarter. We're going to... Snap it now, and then we'll get to the fourth. First down. Well, despite making the Patriots all these superstars, they're only going to go about 8-8. Eight and eight. 9 and 7. Until I throw that pick, McCourty was just all over that. Oh, and then he houses it. That was great coverage. Well, that makes things more interesting. That was a terrible just decision and great play by McCourty. And the Patriots go up. Game's on the line, make the stop. I think we gotta trust it and hope we get an offensive opportunity. Skip the punt, and here we go. This is pretty much as good as we could have asked for right here. Two minute drill. Giving us plenty of room inside to run this thing. Man, I am a little more quiet right now because I am focused. This is not an easy defense to play against right here. Give me a block. Give me a block. Let's go. Let's go. Go down. Nice, baby. Let's call timeout after that. Good luck. I'll take that at that size advantage, even on McCourty. Good pass protection there. Jeez. There we go. Patriots are losing contain. This is probably just gonna be shady in the flat. No, nope. let's, let's get out of here. Nice throw. Get the first, Cole Beasley, we gotta go. Oh, we got it. All right, timeout. Man, this drive, <laughs> not a whole lot of time though. We're, gonna have to, we're not going to have time to run another play. Uh, well, we made one mistake, and that, that was enough for the Patriots to come in and capitalize. The pick six. Wasn't the best read, but I would more credit that to great coverage by McCourty. He really hung with that in route the whole way, and just a great return. But... Uh, 
Just not enough time to complete the drive at the end there. But, I mean, can't complain about how Dawson Knox is playing. I mean, he, he's going to be probably a Pro Bowler. I don't see a whole lot of tight ends having better stats than that. Drew Davis White did get a pick on Brady. I think that's five or six for him now. And, you know, all hope is not lost. We can still certainly be a wild card team here. Maybe the Patriots even lose next week and we're back on top. A lot can still happen here. Just going to take a peek at our extensions, see if there's anyone we're forgetting about here. Uh, Foster. I think that's probably worth it, don't you think? He's, he's made some decent plays for us. Gaines will let him go. Levi Wallace, we definitely want to retain him. He wants a five-year deal. That's kind of dumb that he wants a five-year deal for that cheap. That's, I mean, if I lower it, he's not going to accept it, so I kind of have to do it. But that's an example of the new contract system not being accurate because uh, an ascending player, rather, is going to ask for a three-year contract, not some cheap five-year deal where he's on a team-friendly deal for the rest of his career. Like, that's pretty dumb. Uh, maybe I can even go and lower that. We'll see. The rest of these guys will wait. Really happy with how our offensive line's developing. We got Deion Dawkins with another upgrade here. He's up to an 80 now. And then we also have Cody Ford has been just racking up upgrades lately. And continue with the agile for him. Ends up getting a strength from the Agile. So we got the 7 and 8 Jets coming to town. Let's take a peek at the standings here. What are our hopes looking like? So in the AFC, the Jags and Browns have clinched. The Bengals having a surprising season. And it is a tight race for the wild card. It's hard to say. It's a big cluster. It's really hard to say if we're going to be in the playoffs or not. We're going to definitely need some things to break our way. The NFC is pretty much all decided. Just one more wild card to be decided. Looks like between Redskins, Rams, and Saints. Uh, so all we can really do is take care of business here. We at least had a winning season. Worst we can do is 8-7-1 and one in our first year with the Bills. That's about where I would expect the first year with the Bills to go. But I would love to make the playoffs and see what can happen once we get in. So we got play the moments, maximum one full drive. We're going to trust this along. We got some snow here in Buffalo for the season finale. And let's go ahead and play this red zone opportunity. First and 10 on the Jets 19 yard line. Looks like a cover two. Let's go ahead and move Jones over here. Might actually be man coverage. Good throw, Zay. Come on, Zay. Oh, and then Josh Allen misses Dawson Knox. Ah. Oh, and then Cole Beasley can't hang on to it. Wow. All right. Just got to kick the field goal, I guess. Oh, get in. Ooh, that was close. Forgot you gotta be extra careful here in the snow. All right, defense hangs on. Here's another red zone opportunity. Let's go ahead, play this. Man, Josh Allen. Supposed to be all right in the snow with those big bear claws of hands that you have there, Allen. A couple big misses here in the red zone. That could have been a touchdown. Oh, oh! 85? Lee Smith? <laughs> Great play by Allen to sense the pressure, get out, give his receiver a chance. What a catch. Maybe a slight push off on the offense, but uh, actually we're going to keep trusting this along. I don't know why I press to that so we have one full drive remaining and it's tied at half let's let's skip ahead we get the field goal in the snow come on defense or we're actually on offense here another field goal there we go all right we're, we're in control although the Sam Darrell takes him down 
big end of game drive. All right, let's let's just do this. Let's just end the game here. Pardon my laundry machine if you can hear that. Oh wait, we're in the red zone. All right, well, regardless, this would put the game away. Broken tackle, but it doesn't result in anything. Two minute warning. Really just want to take care of the football, make our field goal, and we should be on our way to a nine. The ties always make it tough. What a nine, six and one season. Now we can't take this field goal for granted because of the snow and my history with missing kicks. Should be good. Off to the end of the game. And we win. Great game for Josh Allen in the snow. He did miss some throws, though, in the red zone, but played well in the simulation. Singletary. All right. Uh, Zay Jones ends with a bunch of receptions. Robert Foster, after getting that contract extension, plays well. Dawson Knox defensively. We get, wow, four sacks for Jerry Hughes. That's going to put him up in, like, the defensive player of the year conversation. A sack for all over the defense. It's working today. We get two picks for the slot corner, Teron Johnson. So I'm actually going to leave you guys in suspense. I am going to end the episode here. When we come back, we will find out what awards we, we won. We'll take a look at our uh, end-of-season stats and then find out as well the big question did we get into the playoffs as a wild card did we maybe surpass the patriots did they lose a rare week 17 game that was winning in for them you're just gonna have to wait to find out please do hit that like button if you enjoy it's good to be back sorry again for the long hiatus but we will see you for the next one peace guys